YouTube, welcome back to part 8 of the Beginner's Roblox GFX tutorial series. And in this one, I want to show you guys how you can add effects onto your render. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. All of these parts, I hope you guys learn the information that is in each one. And as we progress to more and more videos in the future, um, we're going to start putting all these uh, techniques and stuff that we learned together. And we're gonna make our own little uh, GFX projects. Um, let's get right into this one. Now, the first way to find stock images is obviously Google. So, here I went over to Google Images and I looked up stock effect PNG. And as you can see, a lot of things pop up. Uh, some of these are pretty bad. Stock effect. Let's see how about just that. Alright, this is actually better. So here's a smoke effect. Um alright, so let's just find something really quickly. Alright, I'm just gonna take this smoke right here, I think. So if you right click and you hit copy image and hit Photoshop, and right here you can go to edit and hit paste. And now there's a watermark, but I just want to show you guys real quick. So with stock images like this with a black background. Want to change the mode into screen right here and uh, as you can see it looks pretty cool so place this right here um you can cycle through these modes you can go lighten you can see the difference so there's lighten screen color dodge which uh, is pretty cool linear dodge which is kind of kind of like screen but a bit more intense and lighter color right here so I think screen is the best option for this one right here alright so I found some effects I just looked up anime stock effects <laughs> um, because they are more creative so here's a couple pretty cool ones um, this one is alright little explosion effects right here this one's pretty cool so just pick one I mean a little indecisive but let's just go for this one right here so right click let's go copy and uh, edit paste let's make the mode into screen and let's just place this on his body right here alright let's cycle through the modes um, you see linear dodge is just stronger right here and we can take our eraser tool and for this we can erase out certain parts like that there we go obviously this right here is just an example so <laughs> i'm not being very so i'm not really trying to place it strategically all right next i'm gonna look for a particle stock effect um let's find a cool one use uh obviously you want to find a large image uh, i'm just i'm gonna show you guys this one so copy let's go to edit and let's hit paste let's enlarge this one see screen mode you can see lighten this one is probably best on lighten lighten screen color dodge color dodge is actually not bad i'm gonna try this one all right i'm gonna take my eraser erase this top part a little bit perfect there we go so that right there is the complete basics on how to add some stock effects into your gfx um obviously with each effect there is more there are more complex techniques to make the effect look better but this right here is just basically how to get a stock image off google and how to add it in because i know some people don't understand how so so as far as this goes there's really nothing more to it this is as simple as it gets for just adding the effects in so uh yeah if this helped you guys make sure to leave a like do me a favor and head over to our store i would really appreciate it um we got more products coming soon so if any products interest you make sure to you know, take a look and consider buying it we also got a ton of free stuff so go ahead and check that out join our discord and with that being said i'm going to see you guys in the next video Peace.